Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Last week I attended the Perth Coin Fair. It was a one day event uh, basically for WA dealers and collectors. You might recall a few weeks ago I went to the Perth Money Expo. It's a bigger event held over two days with a lot of national dealers. Anyway, I bought uh, three coins at the Perth Coin Fair and here's the first of them. It's the 1880 uh, Morgan dollar. Uh, graded MS65 by PCGS and it's from the San Francisco Mint. Now I was looking to uh, pick up uh, a Morgan dollar so this is my first Morgan dollar um, and I just wanted a good representative example and this is a nice coin it's got nice toning and a reasonable grade but certainly not a rare coin. Just for example PCGS just for this 1880 San Francisco coin have graded 158,000 coins so that is a hell of a lot of coins. The second coin bought from the same dealer, Imperial Numismatics. In fact, all three coins were bought from that dealer. This is the 2011 100 yuan uh, a quarter ounce gold coin. Now, um, I don't see Chinese Panda coins coming up in Perth very often, so I thought I'd pick it up. It was at a reasonable price. But again, not a rare coin. In 2011, they really ramped up production. They produced 600,000 of just this coin. Uh, compared to 120,000 for the quarter ounce the year before and 60,000 the year before that. And this is the final co coin that I purchased. This time it's a one, one ounce silver coin. It's a 2005 Panda. I didn't have this design. It's quite nice in this size. And I thought, well, um, I don't see them come up, come up in Perth that often, so I'll buy it. So a good day's buying, three coins at the fair. Now, you would have seen WA Coins in the video earlier, and Tom from WA Coins is the dealer where I bought my first ever coin, and here it is. It's the 1889 Melbourne Sovereign. Uh, it's also one of the first coins that I sent to PCGS for grading, and I got an MS61, which is okay. Again, not a particularly rare coin, but quite a lot of sentimental value for me because, well, it was really the start of my Sovereign collection, and it's nice to have started with a Melbourne Sovereign. I'll talk a little bit about the Melbourne Mint. So it started in 1872 and produced coins for 59 years. So this is the 1930 Melbourne Sovereign. So this is the second last year of production. In the last three years, they really started to reduce their uh, number of coins they produced. So in, in this year, they produced about 77,000 coins, which is not a lot of coins for a circulation coin. So it's something that was used for money. Now, um, the next year, so this is the last year of production, was about 55,000 coins. Now, for the 1931 coin, Marsh grades this as a, uh, an R2, so very rare, and for the 1930 coin, as R for rare. Now, both of these have achieved an MS63, which is not a bad grade. Um, of the coins that have been graded by PCGS, the best grades for both these coins are presently MS64. So getting two MS63s brings me happy with those. I bought them both as graded coins. Now, I'll grab it up there. I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the coins. Um, I hope you uh, can please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. So thank you very much for watching.